Hey, y'all. So I heard Krishan Rock's fans yelled out, 5-0, 5-0, there she go, there she go. Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. For your invitation, champagne. to experience the clink, the chaos, and all of the empowerment secret you desire. You know we got some Hella hood with class, baby, I'm doing one Come sip and save us so we can spill some And if you lost your way, we'll leave the light on What's going on, Champagne Gang? Fizz fam, confidants, welcome to Champagne City. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm the Empress. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, grab you a non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. And if you're listening in the morning, go ahead and throw you some orange juice in and make it a mimosa. It's all good. It's time for our positivity and affirmations. So if you have your glasses, Go ahead and take them and raise them high. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey you, do you realize you're the living, breathing essence of what dreams are made of? I mean, seriously, every little bit of your journey, your hopes, your ambitions, it's all a part of this magical recipe that makes dreams come true. So don't hold back, embrace every moment for each moment gives you power, it gives you strength and it gives you the ability to take the next step. Because you, my friend, are the real deal. The stuff that dreams are made of. So cheers to you, confidant, for you are worth it. So today, we're diving into the twisted world of Krishan Rock. And according to Radar Online, it looks like she's been served court papers in the attack that took place on James Wright Chanel at the Tamar Braxton concert. So according to Radar Online, James has officially served Krishan with his lawsuit. Tamar Braxton's friend, James Wright, had Krishan Rock serve his assault lawsuit after she posted her location on social media. So according to the court documents obtained by Radar Online, Blueface's on-again, off-again girlfriend was handed the legal paperwork by a process server on May 4th, 2024. The process server found the reality star rapper at Cathedral High School in Los Angeles. Krishan posted on social media she would be at the location for football practice at 6.30 p.m. So her announcement caught Wright's process server's eye, who utilized the information and served Krishan at 5 p.m. on the day in question. As Radar Online previously reported, Wright sued Rock in February of 2024 over an incident that went down on November 11, 2023 in downtown Los Angeles. Wright said he was in a dressing room at the Novo when he started talking to Rock. The lawsuit claimed during a short conversation, Rock commented to Wright how nice he was and how different he was from everyone else at the event who had been mean to her. Rock was crying and visibly upset because she stated everyone was lying about her not being where she was supposed to be for her part of the performance. Wright believes and based thereon alleges that Rock was misinformed about her role that evening as she was only supposed to participate in the ending of the concert performance called the twerk portion. His petition adds, Wright believes and based thereon alleges that Rock thought she was supposed to have a larger performance role individually as a rap artist. Wright said he tried to console Rock. He said he suggested she was not in the right place during the show. Rock became upset with Wright and stated that if he again said she was not where she was supposed to be, she was going to hit him. Wright politely told defendant, I promise you, you were not on the side of the stage. Wright said Rock immediately, using the hand she was wearing large champion style rings, struck him several times in the face. 
His suit said following the assault while Rock was being removed from the dressing room and continued to shout foul, obscene, and insulting language towards plaintiffs such as F-A-N and I'll hit that M-F again. Wright said he suffered two broken teeth, multiple lacerations and contusions to his face and nose as well as emotional distress. He's said to have racked up medical bills for the injuries. His lawsuit demanded unspecified damages. Rock has yet to respond. Here's my thing, right? I could go on and on about Krishan and her lack of accountability or even the fact that she doesn't care to take accountability, but my channel is not a Krishan Rock channel. Here's the thing. We can talk about how she behaves until we're blue in the face, but the problem is a lot of us continue to watch. Uh-huh. We watch and we praise her and we celebrate her. We celebrate that she's playing football, but we forget this is the same person who punched this man in the face in the midst of an adolescent temper tantrum because she couldn't get her way. But this isn't the first time. She has a history of this and she doesn't care because the crowd cheers her on for it. If you want to blame someone for her behavior besides just her, blame a society and networks who celebrate toxicity but shun wisdom. Blame that. I mean, if we're going to talk about it, then scoot up. Let's talk. The more negative it is, the more we crave it. And because we crave it and celebrate it, it escalates until something like this happens and everyone wants to be shocked. Oh my God, how could she? Because this is what she was bred to be by the networks, by her fans, cheering her on to victory every time she had a fight. If her fans demanded she change, she would, because as much as she calls everyone else clout chasers, she's really the one chasing clout, but she has to, because if the clout dies down, then so does her popularity, and so also does her money. What if she would have hit James in the eye? with all those rings on and put his eye out, then what? What if she would have hit him in his temple and unalived him? Because what y'all fight club generation don't seem to understand is all it takes is one hit in the right place and nighty night baby, permanently. Or you'll end up like Cassandra Holt, Miss Butter from Now That's TV. South Central Baddies, another fight club show who's now facing murder charges in Milwaukee for unaliving her man, husband, whoever he was. Because these shows have conditioned you to not have any control. No control over your mouth, no control over your emotions, no control over your actions, just acting impulsively with a lack of self-control because the crowd is cheering you on to it. I'm not one of those who are wishing the worst for Krishan. I'm not. She's a black mother raising a man child who needs guidance and direction and protection and love. Not to be treated like a new rag doll that you're showing off to the world. I want Krishan to do better, to want better. But more than that, I want her fans to want better. Because until y'all want better for yourselves, you'll never demand better for her. That's all I have for this one. Thank you for joining me in the chalet for a little sip, savor, and spill. Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this story. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want, send some love to the channel by hitting the cash app. Champagne gang, fizz fam, confidants. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.